the, the big question is, well, what do things look like in the fall? Because typically, it, what, this is you could get away in the summer with kind of taking a break and figuring things out and, and doing some meetings here and there and testing the waters. But in the fall, everybody kind of expects a ramped up program. Um, how do we minister to the needs of today um, and throw out the the script on what we used to do? And which is uh, your book, are, right? This is my book, right? Yeah. Right. That's, I, the, the reality is uh, programs are going to be extremely difficult in the fall. Um, large group meetings are going to be, uh, you shouldn't be doing them. 40 kids having a water gun fight on the parish lawn, which looks good, but doesn't lead to sustainable faith formation. Right. So I, Dioceses and parishes that are holding on to the failed paradigms of, of uh, the last several decades, and they're trying to figure out, well, how do we do this digitally? And it's like, right. You don't like it, it was a failure then, and it's going to be even worse now. Um, the spring, when all of this hit, yeah, uh, there was a lot of of movement, and, and it was it was almost immediate screen fatigue. Yeah, uh, so it, it was novel and really a, a cool response for the first week or two. Hey, we're in this together. Let's have some solidarity. But after a while, we we're like, okay, this isn't sustained. People were just dying for. Um, relationships yeah and and that's shocking uh, right or less yeah well it I means it's a it's it's a microcosm of what was always the case I know this from you but i keep going to christ method which is you know he had thousands of followers he had 72 he sent he had 12 he hung around with but it came down to discipleship of three and and right. it's those john james and peters that all of our adult leaders at parishes need to find so yeah that's how movements start that's how real really incredible focus started with three missionaries yeah. on one college campus life team started with three people at one parish in arizona um you, you know you can name any really big successful ministry that that i know of started really small and with a handful of people if that's the right word the, the vision uh, of the pastor to say to look at oh my gosh my youth minister or my volunteers or my whatever are only meeting with three people and saying not only is that okay, but that's where we need to go in order to grow. Yeah. 